everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly review video today we have our special guest here biz my cat he always likes to participate in my videos so today we'll be reviewing the first week of october and let's go ahead and go to it here it is so this first week here from the 30th of september until the 6th of october so I think it's a little too bright, so maybe I'm just going to go ahead and reduce the brightness and also bring you guys a little bit closer. If it's too bright, please let me know. It's hard to see here on the camera viewer, so it's easier if you guys um, tell me if it was okay or not. So let's go ahead and start with the weekly, and we're going to start with the, with the tasks. I always try to grab my little... Um, cards that tell me what I have to do. So for the daily review, I did it pretty well this week, so we don't have to go through this. For the weekly review, we need to complete the daily sheets. They are already completed. Basically, I, I think I just need to complete the last part of Friday and maybe this part of Saturday, but we can do that later. Then I need to update the weeklies with meetings, project hours, and deliverable hours. But I'm not going to follow exactly this order because today I feel like starting with the tasks. So for, oops, sorry. So for the tasks, I'm just going to highlight in blue the tasks that are, that are recurring. So it, the tasks that I need to do every week. I did update the weeklies for T1 and T3 and I also completed the ETS. So let's see what else did I do. Decide FTB day date that's pretty much decided i just need to confirm on monday if i we, if we have the budget to do what we want to do the test procedure template i was able to finish this week so i'm really really happy with that the partial report t3 i did not so this is going to go next week sign handling revision didn't finish and then training matrix i didn't do this week so i'm going to go ahead and highlight in pink what is not over yet so partial report is on me i need to do that sign handling revision uh, this is going to be training matrix as well sign handling revision it depends on someone else so i'm just going to go ahead and do yellow here and decide to be date i also need to wait for a response so it's going to be yellow other things that i did this week for example i did the technical note on T3068, so that, that was done. And let me see if there's there was anything else that we did that I didn't put here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, so I had here the anchoring instructions for 049, that was done. I always like to go back and see what I did because this is how I control my deliverables. And this is very helpful when you want to talk to your boss about promotions and uh, salary increases because you can show exactly what you're doing. Okay, so update workload, update 75049 virtual obeya. Then I'm going to put here talk to BG about team issues. Then I'm going to put upload T3 raw data and that's going to be pretty much it. So I did all of that this week. Now in terms of filming, I did film, this is the weekly review one. So I'm filming that right now. Um, weekly review five, it's four actually. Four I did give meds to the cats. Well, I need to do that right now. So I'm going to do that and film September flip through. I did that and then I also needed to film the September review, which I did. And we are going to film all of these, so I'm just going to check it already. Now let's go through what I didn't do. So first of all, it's going to decide FTB date. Uh, confirmed availability for HR review. Uh, representative waiting on the budget to confirm the date 
Okay, that was it. Then for the partial report T3068, so I was focused on finishing RLI template and test procedure template, so I wasn't able to finish this. Then we have the handling for T3. So I scheduled a meeting with Antoine as the last chance for him to review it. Okay. Then we have training matrix. I just didn't have time. Didn't have time to do it. And that's pretty much all. I think I had pretty much all of the meetings that I had planned. Maybe not this one on Tuesday. Let me just go ahead and check it. Uh, da, da, da. Is this Tuesday? Yeah. So yeah, I did not have the FTB day planning meeting. So I'm just going to cross that out like this. And let's see if I had anything else. I did not. So all of the other meetings happened and it was okay. Now let's go ahead and count the amount of hours that we spent on each project. And this is going to be very important because um, this is what I input in my little work uh, spreadsheet. So I'm just going to grab this uh, planner here because this holds all of my daily sheets for September. And we're going to look at the last day of September, which was Monday for this week. And I'm going to write the amount of hours I spent for each project. So the first one is going to be 7002. And this is going to be one hour, two hours and a half. Then we have 53068, which is going to be four hours. And finally, 75049, which is going to be two hours. And this gives us eight hours and a half. Now, I'm not going to count the tasks not going to consider the tasks that I performed on Monday for the calculation here because um, Monday was on September. So for the way, for the end of the month review, I just considered the days that were work days during October. So let's go ahead and check Tuesday. So Tuesday, <clears throat> we had 7002. This was one hour, three hours, five hours and a half. So I, I think I spent quite a lot of time on this project this week because I wanted to finish the templates. So let's see. For 53068, we had two hours here. And then for 75049, we had just one hour. So this gives us eight hours and a half. On Wednesday, <clears throat> for 7002, I had five and a half, six, six and a half hours. And then for 75049, I had two hours, which gives us eight and a half. For Thursday, I had again 70002, which was five and a half hours. And then I had 53068, which was two and a half hours, which gives us eight hours. And we're missing just half an hour for this last project here. And finally on Friday, I had 70002, which was just two hours. Then 53068, which was uh, four hours and a half. And also 75049, which was two hours. And then we're going to go ahead and write the total for just Tuesday until Friday. So that's going to be 7002, five and a half. So it's going to be 12, 12, 17 and a half, 19 and a half hours. Then for 53068, we have two, four and a half plus four and a half gives us a nine, nine hours. And then for 75049, we have three hours, five hours and a half. So this is just Monday to, to 
uh, Tuesday to Friday, so it's going to be eight and a half times four, which gives us 34 hours. So let's see, we have 28 and a half here, 28 and a half plus five and a half gives us 34. Exactly what we needed, 34 hours. So now we go over all of the tasks for each um, project. Oh, I put away, oh, actually I don't need to go over for Monday, so that's fine. So let's go back to Tuesday. Tuesday we have meetings here and also FTB day. So let's start with meeting. Ah, oh, we also have RLI. So let's start with meeting. We have one hour here, three and a half, four, five hours for meetings. Then FTB day, let's see, nothing here, nothing here either. Half an hour, half an hour and two hours. So two hours and a half. Now let's check RLI. We have two and a half hours here, two and a half, seven and a half, eight hours, eight hours and that's all. So eight hours here. Then we have also, uh, we went through this. We have also the procedure, which was three hours here and just that, three hours. And finally we have ETS, which was one hour for this week. So this gives us, so five plus eight gives us 13, 15 and a half, 18 and a half, 19 and a half exactly. Perfect, so we are done with this one. Now let's go to 53068, this is going to be, let's see, T1 support, then T1 meeting, then T3 support, and T3 meeting. Let's start with these. For T3 support, we have here two hours, three hours and a half. Let's see, T1 meeting, we have half an hour, half an hour, that's all. For T1 support, I don't have anything here. So T3 partial report, it's going to be two and a half here. Two and a half, and I think that's all. Yeah, two and a half hours. For T1 support, did I not have anything? And T3 meeting, nothing as well? I don't think so. Yeah, nothing on that. Okay, so zero and zero. So we're going to add everything. It's going to be four, six and a half. Well, I'm missing something. <laughs> Five, six hours, not three hours and a half. So this is going to be six hours. Now we have nine. Okay, that's okay. Now we have seven, five, zero, four, nine. Let's see what we have for this project here. We have support. So let's start with that. So we have two hours here, two and a half, four and a half, five, five hours of support. We are missing half an hour. Is it meeting? Yeah, meeting. So for meeting, we had half an hour. So we have exactly five and a half hours here. Perfect, let me just go ahead and highlight these. It just makes it easier when I'm going through the numbers to see the color instead of the number. That's why I usually finish by highlighting everything. Okay, so we are done with the most difficult part, which is counting the numbers. Let's go back to here. We already went through the tasks, which is great. We already updated the week, which is great as well. So I need to update the weekly budget, which I'm going to do off camera. I also need to update the weekly, monthly and monthly tasks. Let's check the monthly tasks. So wait a second, why is this? like this 
should be here. There you go. So the tasks I'm going to update here for the monthly. So RLI template, I'm waiting on someone to answer. Handling, I'm also waiting. Raw data, I'm still waiting uh, for people to verify it and we'll be okay with that. Partial report, I'm not done. Training matrix, not done. Template test chronogram, not done. Um, I'm just going to add things that I finished already. Technical note for T3068, uh, verify. And then also anchoring instructions for 049, also to verify. Let me see what else that we have here. Test procedure template, is it here? Yeah, it's here. Okay, I also have the handling. Handling is here. So I did all of that. Technical note is done. Anchoring instructions is done. So, okay, this was all for the tasks of the month. Update meals. Do I have the meals updated here? Yesterday was Friday, so I had um, ham, pizza. That's done. Now I have to update my habit tracker. So let's go back to the habit tracker. I did the collagen, I did the AM and PM routine. I didn't have any social events. I gave the meds to the cats and I didn't wash their hair. I didn't do any exercise either. So that's it. And finally, we're going to the last part of the weekly review, which is going to be the weekly review sheet. Well, let me just go to Friday here. <clears throat> and I don't like this particular weekly review sheet here because I printed on a grid page because I don't have any other um, any other leftover um, blank pages. So I had to do this. So this is going to be for the week from the 30th until the 6th, right? Yeah. So it's going to be October 30 um, to the 6th. So I'm just going to put September, October. So summary of the week. It's only Saturday, but I still have to go back and see what I did this week. Um, we had the check-in day. Not a lot happened during this week. So I'm just going to write started the week with the hotel they use. Uh, talked to BG about our team issues and was able to advance in yearly goals. Three highlights of the week. I'm going to say first is going to be the day use at BG Hotel on Monday. Then I'm going to say finishing the RLI template and finally talking to BG. Uh, things that made me proud or happy. Um, being told that my work is really good by four different people and possibly being promoted in July next year so that's a thing that uh, they told me that that's a possibility we'll see i'm thankful for being able to do home office at the hotel on monday uh, talking to to bg and being told about a possible promotion what else i'm grateful for being told by my colleagues that i work well so that was very nice as well. Now for self-evaluation, let me go back onto this notebook here just to see what I wrote. So we have here exercise, then we have productivity, planning, sleep and rest, spending, 
mood and YouTube. Okay, so for exercise, I'm going to give myself a two because I just did soccer this, this week. Productivity, I'm going to give myself a five because I was able to finish quite a lot of things this week. Planning, also a five, I did well. Sleep and rest, uh, I did well as well, I'm going to put four. Spending, not so good because I did have to spend on medication for my cats and then I also spent for the day use. Mood, I would say it was around <clears throat> at three because I was quite anxious because I wanted to talk to BG about the issues on our team and that kind of consumed me but <clears throat> I was in a pretty good mood on Monday. And YouTube, I'm going to put a three because I'm going to post the videos, but they are not going to be posted on the days that I, I wanted to post. Now, best of the week, I'm going to put the use at hotel, um, <clears throat> check-in with BG, check-in day, which was an event at work, um, <clears throat> positive work feedback, I'm going to say playing It Takes Two with my boyfriend and then let me see finishing RLI and finishing procedure and I'm also going to put the sucker which was nice okay great now let's go over the goals that I achieved this week so I'm going to say RLI template also FTB day date and test procedure template habits that I was not able to maintain so let's go back to the habits and see I'm going to write exercise I was too tired from the trip and the house was a mess so I did have to spend time um, cleaning up the house before I could go to the gym lessons learned um, it is worth talking about the issues about issues even if the conversation is difficult and finally for next week I have the fire uh, training and I think that's pretty much it okay I think we're done with our weekly review hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like and also subscribe here to my channel I'm rushing through this part because my camera is dying but hopefully I'll see you in the next video I hope you have a wonderful weekend and start up next week bye bye